Saki mwemwa na kwa le mchele kwa kukuku mwaga Saku na wapenda ya tusema ni tasikia Hi, my name is Katie Chang. I'm an actress and a writer. And I was so excited when Danny and Lila contacted me to be a part of these video series. I think the work they're doing with this organization is incredible and I'm, I'm really honored to get to share my answer to the question, what is my passion? You know, passion as a concept, there's, there's no one correct answer. I have passions in my personal life. I have passions in my, you know, uh, public uh, work life, but something that across the board I've always been passionate about is storytelling. I started to find this interest and really cultivate it when I was a little girl, probably around the time I was seven. That's when I realized that acting could be a job, storytelling could be a job that you could do for your life, and kids could do it. I didn't know that. This, story of how I discovered this information is kind of funny, but there was a movie when I was a kid called Spy Kids. It came out like in the early 2000s and it starred Antonio Banderas played the dad and uh, Alexa Vega played the, the girl. And um, we had the DVD of this movie and on the DVD you could play the movie, you could go to um, the deleted scenes and you could go to the behind the scenes video. So I clicked the behind the scenes video and I was able to watch almost a, a mini 20 minute documentary of what it was like to film and create this movie and be an actor in Spy Kids. And it followed the children, the child actors who were performing and starring in this movie. And that's when my little seven year old brain went, oh my God, that's what I wanna do. I want to do exactly what they are doing. And it was like someone turned a light bulb on in my head and I just knew exactly, that's exactly what I want to do. Because growing up before that moment, I had always loved storytelling. I had always loved being a part of creating something and being so necessary to, to a storytelling process. But of course I didn't have the, the language to explain that that was a passion of mine. But I do remember as early as like three or four years old making my dad follow me around the house with his camcorder filming me giving like on the scenes narration of my Barbie dolls drama. You know, I, I just always wanted to kind of be in like a fantasy world in my head because I think as humans one of the reasons why we love movies and TV as much as we do is because they provide us with, you know, a 30 minute to two hour long like escape from normal life. They allow us to totally lose ourselves in this fantasy world or a world that we can empathize with. And it's a, it's a cathartic, enjoyable, freeing experience. And of course, as a kid, I wasn't able to articulate that, but now I think that's really what I was connecting with. And then watching the Spy Kids behind the scenes documentary, I realized, wow, I can do this and I can do this now at this age. So from then on, it became my goal to be an actor. As for writing, I'd always kept a journal since I was in kindergarten. I was always writing short stories. Well, I probably I was always starting short stories and not actually finishing them. <laughs> but it was sort of that same passion, that same origin was just loving storytelling. But also I didn't really realize you could be a writer, that could be your job. So and that I could do both. I could do writing and acting and they could help each other in the same career, going towards the same goal. So it was much later that I figured that out. But yeah, from around the time I was seven, I think I just knew I wanted to be in movies and be on set and be a part of that process. And I was really lucky. I, there was an amazing acting school in my hometown and my mom was really adamant that you know, acting was a craft that you study and she wanted me to take acting classes. So I signed up for a bunch of acting classes when I was probably 11. I think I had a big reckoning with my dad. I was like, I'm not gonna play soccer anymore. I'm gonna be an actor. And I started taking classes and I really found this rhythm and, and this um, like emotional connection to the work I was doing in those classes. And it was just like the highlight of every week was to go and 
go to my monologue class or go to my scene class or my on-camera class. And so around the time I was 14, I was able to start working professionally as an actor. I got representation, I got an agent and a manager. I was really lucky to be able to have those connections from my acting school, which is called the Actors Training Center in Wilmette, Illinois. It's a fantastic place. Um, and then <laughs> when I was 16, kind of out of some perseverance, absolutely, but also just like random luck, I got a part in a movie that was filming in Los Angeles and it was a it was a big experience. There were a lot of very high profile people involved in the project. The movie is called Bling Ring. It came out in 2013. I was 16 turning 17 when we made the film um, and it launched me into this whole new stratosphere of connecting to the industry and having these opportunities and these doors opened and you know it it, it it was an amazing experience, but I, something I always try to help people understand is like, it started because of the Spy Kids DVD and just realizing that, um, that my dreams were achievable. Because I think a lot of the time, especially as young children, we have these dreams and on the one hand, because we're children, we are able to dream big, but also you're faced with the reality of life pretty early on, I think, where you you don't always think that you can achieve the things that you want to achieve. And I had a really unique experience with it because maybe I didn't know, believe that I was going to be a successful author, a successful writer, but watching the kids from Spy Kids on the documentary of this movie, it's just this amazing experience happened where I got this like blind, narrow-minded belief okay well no matter what that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it soon and so having that deep 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 seated belief in myself and knowledge that people were doing this as a job and I could achieve that I think really motivated me to to work very hard and pursue every opportunity from a very young age after making bling ring my life has taken a lot of crazy different turns and, and twists that's normal, I think. I was able to get my degree, which is really important. I encourage everyone, everyone to stay in school. I encourage everyone to get their degree or pursue some form of higher education because the experiences you have at university or when you're living abroad or when you're working a job, like any of those higher education experiences allow you to have real life opportunities and create relationships and try new things and push yourself outside of your comfort zone and all of that is imperative when you are an actor because as an actor what I tried to do is relate my life experiences and my um, relationships and the things that I've done and seen I tried to find ways to infuse that in the characters that I'm creating so providing yourself with multiple life experiences providing yourself with lots of different types of um, opportunities and jobs and places that you visit and friends that you make only helps you become a more well-rounded person and the best the better the well-roundedness of your life the better the actor you will be I think that's really important that people understand that lastly I always try to keep being a student of the craft so you know even now I'm 25 it's been a while since I made bling ring it's been a while since I was 11 taking acting classes. It's been a while since I was watching the Spy Kids documentary, but I'm still trying to learn new things about acting and about movies. And now that I'm screenwriting as well, and that was what my degree was in at college, um, I'm always trying to read new books, watch new movies, watch new TV shows, listen to interviews from actors, take acting classes, learn whatever I can about the craft. Um, you know, you, you never stop being a student. Sometimes you're just a student of life instead of a student of your school. But I have a few books that I recommend if anyone is interested in screenwriting, um, writing for movies, uh, writing for the media. Um, this is, it's called, the book is called The Hollywood Standard, but it really is like the standard intro to screenwriting book. It's The Hollywood Standard and it's by Christopher Riley. And then this book is pretty much gonna be your, your textbook on intro to, to theater acting at least and, and method acting definitely but this is Meisner on acting um, and it was written by uh, Dennis Longwell and Meisner and it's it's you know obviously very beat up my copy <laughs> because I've read it many many times but you can see all the crazy notes that I've taken. 
so yeah, I, I think, you know, to summarize, um, my passion has always been storytelling and the way that I've done that is by always learning. And I, I highly suggest that anyone who's interested in this, read these few books and, and just have that, that innate self-belief that um, this is possible, this is achievable and, and totally worth it. Very difficult, but totally worth it. So thank you. Ipaga moyo ni kiasa kulia chuzi na fusia